Hey, what's up everybody? This is Steven with another Pixel for Life video tutorial. Today we are going to be working on something kind of cool. Um, I had the idea to create my own task application. I got kind of fed up with everyone else's because they're either too complicated or they're pretty buggy. So I don't know how to program it, I just decided to design it and then maybe find someone else to program it later on. So anyhow, this is just my mocking up of it. Uh, it's not going to be too um, too intense on creating details and colors and whatnot. Just kind of wanted to get my ideas out. I never created a application before so the first step that I did was just took a screenshot of my web browser and the size that I kind of imagined that the task application would be at um, and then I'm going to start using this as my template. Now what I do is I create a 20 pixel by 20 pixel box and I use this to draw out some guides. I want 20 pixels of padding from the left and from the right top and bottom and then also I use it to create columns later. Just drawing out a quick rounded rectangle box and this is going to be the container for the whole task application. Now what I do is draw out another rectangle and this is for the top bar and don't worry about sizing it correctly because I'm going to use a clipping mask and it's just going to constrain it to the proportions of the container. Now I begin creating the columns and the left side I just measured out randomly to see how big approximately I would want it to be. It turned out to be 270 pixels and then I measured the remaining section and divided that by two and that came up with the correct sizes. Here is where I grab that 20 pixel block one more time and I start creating the padding for each of the columns. Don't worry about how ugly and pixelated this little calendar looks like, it's just a reference, a little placeholder I have. So I'm scaling it without even caring. Now to emphasize the spaces between each portion I'm just drawing out some quick spacers uh, dark on one side light on the other just to give it a quick 3d look and now I'm just adding some titles to the top so we know what each sex section is calendar projects and tasks I haven't really chosen a font yet so I just throw on something that I think looks good at the moment in this first column I thought it might be nice to have some buttons one for creating a project and one for creating a task. Now I'm going to have these buttons located somewhere else, which you'll see later on. But I think it's good to have a quick reference place on the left side, easy to find. That way you don't have to search around when you want to create a new project or task. just want to make it nice, simple, and easy, and straight and to the point. I spent a little bit too long trying to get this button perfect. Uh, in the end it ends up looking like crap, but I don't really care. It was just kind of a way for me to get out of the zone of creating this application to free my mind so I can come up with more ideas. So it was just something I enjoyed to do and I know I spent too long on it but uh, sometimes you have to do that. Once again I'm spending entirely too long on trying to figure out what this section would look like but it's alright. Um, what I'm trying to do is have each project separated somehow. So I'm trying to do that with some 3D buttons and I'll probably end up changing this but uh, I just wanted to mess around with some ideas that I had in my head. thought it might be cool to indicate what kind of group this is. So if this is a work project or maybe it's programming and designing, uh, I want to be able to add different colored groups. And to signify this, I was going to have just a little square rectangle on the side of each project. Then maybe once the project is selected, the background changes to that group color. And then also the sidebar on the right side is going to change as well. So now this task section I figure is going to be primarily blocks of text. So you want to make sure that it's easy to read and also you don't want it to be uh, too ugly looking because you want it to be attractive to the eye and make you want to read it and to get your tasks done. I like to have tasks numbered that way you know uh, possibly what order to get them done in 
or also gives you an idea of how many tasks you have. That way you don't procrastinate and figure out oh, you can get it done you know, in half an hour when you see, oh, I have 50 tasks. It's going to take me this long to get it done. What I'm doing here is creating a section and this is what is going to happen when you click on the task and you can see more detail about it. Um, what I figure is that this text right here for each task is just going to be a quick excerpt and then you click on it and you can read the whole thing and also have some other features such as sharing it or marking it as completed. Once again I just threw in some random icons that I found on the internet. Uh, they're pretty much what I'm looking for, so uh, I'll have to recreate them later to make them vector and nice and crisp. But for now, this does the trick. Here is where I throw those add task and add project buttons I was talking about before. I just stole the little plus sign from the buttons on the sidebar. Again, these are all going to get changed on the final product. But I wanted to get something up here, just because I felt that it would be practical at the time to have a button up there to add a task or a project. We'll see where it goes in the end. I felt that this gray bar on top looked a little bit plain and didn't have good boundaries of where the text uh, for project and task begin and end ended. So I wanted to continue the strokes that I have for each panel up there as well. And I couldn't just extend the strokes up or else it wouldn't match properly so I had to duplicate it and scale them to size. And that right there is going to complete this wireframing video. Please let me know if you have any tricks, techniques, suggestions uh, for creating applications or even for my own application. And please stay tuned because there's going to be another part which is going to be where I go in more in depth and create the colors and make it fancy and pretty like. Does that make sense? Good. Please subscribe and see you next time.